Hi, my name is Georg Picot. The book I would like to recommend is called Die Nacht von Lissabon and it is written by Erich Maria Remarque. The English title is The Night in Lisbon. At the end of high school, I was intrigued by the generation of German authors who were forced into exile by the Nazis, such as Erich Maria Remarque. That is how it came about that I visited the private archive of a slightly quaint retired teacher not far from where I lived. This kind man collected the books that would have been burned by the Nazis in their public uh, book burnings in 1933. So let me just underline this because I find it pretty remarkable. He collected those book copies, such as first editions, that existed at the time, so 1933, but did not fall into the hands of the fanatic book burners. During my visit, he reached into the bookshelves and gave me as a present a first edition of Remarks im Westen nichts Neues, All Quiet on the Western Front. That is the novel Remark is best known for. But then he gave me a second book, and said he liked this one in particular, and it was The Night in Lisbon. This book was actually written after the Second World War, so it was not part of those that could have been burned by the Nazis. But Remarque was hated by the Nazis for his highly successful and pacifist novel All Quiet on the Western Front, which was about the First World War. And Remarque was himself forced into exile immediately when the Nazis came to power. In this book, The Night in Lisbon, two German refugees meet in Lisbon and in the course of a night, one tells the other his story of fleeing from the Nazis. It is a book about a time when borders within Europe were deadly, when people were fleeing from fascist persecution and about how they tried to resist and fight back. It is a very engaging story. It contains also a love story, and it is easy and moving to read. The book continues to have a special meaning to me, and it is my pleasure to recommend it today on World Book Day.